Now for updates on sports stories across the globe, Aaron Akerejola joins us now. Good morning, Aaron. Welcome. Yeah, good morning to you, mm -hmm. Vimbai. Good morning to you, Doctor. Yeah, morning. Good morning to you, Rufai. Morning. Now let's start it off with the African Games that came to an end officially on Saturday with a closing ceremony there in the University Stadium in Accra, Ghana. I must say 16 days of high octane and excellent sporting activities and need I say more kudos to all the participants uh, but um, looking at the medal table uh, because we know that Egypt blitzed the trail and went on to actually win the particular games and they will be hosting the 2027 um, African Games and Team Nigeria didn't fare badly I must say finishing second and kudos to them then South Africa, Algeria, Tunisia, Ghana, the host, Morocco, Mauritius, then Kenya. All right, making it making it into the top ten. Um, but away from that, the Minister of Youth and Sports, um, Senator John Ernor, yesterday um, flew back with the team and also took our time to receive that um, those heroic athletes who did Nigeria very proud. And I must say this, that those for individual events, $3,000 $3, for gold, $2,000 for silver, $1,000 for bronze. For the doubles event, $5,000 for gold, $3,000 for silver, and $1,500 for bronze. For teams of up to six, $6,000 for gold, $4,000 for silver, $3,000 for bronze. But as with the new system right now, of course, some of them have gotten their camp allowances, their daily bonuses, but the largest will come from the Central Bank of Nigeria, and they will be receiving the halats sometime this week. But kudos to all that participated, and also, I um, must say, well done to our Rice Sports correspondent, Ebi Yomo, who was there to actually cover the games for Rice News. Away from that, uh, still keeping it on the local scene. Um, the Nigeria Professional Football, the Nigeria Premier Football League uh, is actually working strong. Mark the 27 actually came with quite a lot of shake-up. And I must say that, um, first of all, the Savannah Derby ended one apiece. And also, let's talk about the Oriental Derby that, that actually propelled Rangers back to the top of the table, top of the summit, with Rangers beating Heartland two goals to one. So as it stands right now, you look at the table and how things are actually playing. It's going to look like a very tight finish at the end, but one thing is certain that anyone that would win this will likely not win it from the boardroom, but will win it from what will happen on the pitch of play. You can see Rangers um, 30, I mean 48 with Lobby Stars drawing meant that they had actually dropped to 47 and the Red Stars, Aimba, Plutu United, on and on. But let me take our time, Rufai, let me say this here. Um, one thing is certain, when it comes to stadiums in Nigeria, when it comes to those that watch matches in Nigeria, the North takes the cake. Because uh, we got pictures that actually surfaced from match day 27 of the league. First of all, this was the, this was the Savannah Derby. And you can actually see the number of people that came out at the Pantami Stadium wow. to watch the Savannah wow. Derby. It only gladdens my heart. Wow. And also in Joss, at the new Joss Stadium, all right, then, um, Platinum United played Aqua United. This wow. were the number of people that came out wow. in their numbers. Of course, we're in the South. I don't know why. For some particular reason, we do not, we, do, we are not ardent followers of sports no, and no, our no. local teams but, like they are no, in the North. Cano Pillars. See, Rot uh, I said Rotos. Yeah. Aaron. Yeah. I am a shooting star fan. Yeah. We used to have stadium full like this. The back the, that in, back yeah, that was in the back in the day. I'm, I'm, we are talking about yeah. reality on uh -huh. ground today. And uh, quickly away from that, uh, there's been a massive shakeup in the Lagos Football Association with um, uh, Gafa Lehmed now coming in as the new chairman of that. And the former chairman now has been eased the side. Uh, they said that they accuse him of high handedness, they accuse him of corruption, they accuse him of several things. Although he still insists he is the chairman of the Lagos State Football Association, but over the weekend. Yeah, the matter at the High Court. Um, I think they set that aside. Um, part of, that was part of the. That was one of the reasons why they actually set him aside. Um, because they said um, the Nigeria Football Federation have it within their status that any member who takes a federation matter or takes footballing matters to 
uh, uh, normal court will actually get a full, the, the full arm of their own law. So, as it stands right now, that was how we actually played that. And finally, one man, a breath of fresh air, they're calling it the the injection of life into Formula One as it is right now. Carlos Sainz actually picking up that checkered flag in at the outboard pack, I beg your pardon, at the outboard pack in Melbourne. And a Ferrari one or two with Leclerc coming in second and the Brits Lando Norris picking up third with one man, Max Verstappen, for the first time in a long time. Maybe the problems of, uh, of, of Red Bull is finally catching up with them at the moment. I'm sure Lewis Hamilton will be licking his lips because next season with this particular Ferrari car, things will happen. And one man just insisted talking about um, Charles, I mean, Carlos Sainz. That he's sure that he's, he doesn't have a team for next season at, as we speak right now because Lewis Hamilton will be coming to Ferrari, leaving Mercedes are coming to Ferrari. But one thing is certain, it's looking like it will be a very interesting season. We've had one blip for one man, Mark Verstappen, right now. Will this continue? Let's no, see how it I, goes. I doubt it will continue. I think it was just a blip. Uh, but secondly, you can't always forget the fact that the Ferrari engine is a very fast engine on the grid. Because I remember in the last season, a couple of races, you, you saw Leclerc already in the lead until there was a malfunction with a car or something. Mm -hmm. So if Ferrari can fix their acts, definitely. And Carl Sainz was always pushing very hard. So you can see possibility of that. I, and I would think that's one of the reasons I informed Lewis Hamilton going to Ferrari. Because I don't know what's wrong with Toto. Toto has not been able to fix all the problems we have in those Mercedes cars. But let's see how it, it, it pans out. It's still looking like a Verstappen season. Secondly, I'm happy about, you know, the cash awards to be given to our athletes and everything. But as, as, as have they gotten a lot? The ones that, the ones that, the immediate ones have been given. Have they gotten a lot? Have they said they've they gotten a lot? Some, one or two of them said they had actually received one something. One or two out of many. One of, out no, of how many? We, how many of them in the contingents? The contingents, well over 300. We want that money to drop in 300 accounts. That's Absolutely. So Welcome back to them. And you, listen, they didn't do too badly at all. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, Silva, as much as everybody wants the gold, Silva is a good place to be. And congratulations again to Ghana for putting up a fantastic showcase. Mm, marvelous. Uh, one, marvelous and, one. and looking so, at sorry, the medals Zimbabwe? table <laughs> as well, <laughs> Zimbabwe <laughs> was <laughs> well <laughs> represented <laughs> by South Africa <laughs> in third place. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm a piano is safe. <laughs> anyway. Yes, the uh, the Nigerian contingent did well. Yes, one twenty medals. One twenty medals. Uh, not too bad, but we did well major day in weightlifting. Weightlifting took uh, most of the uh, medals. You know, medal. I think we got thirty two there. Yeah, right? yeah, about thirty two medals. Yeah, about athletics twenty two. Oh, athletics you know, were and brilliant. Then, uh, wrestling and uh, boxing. Uh, a few Arm wrestling. A few stars, yeah. you know, also emerge who may be the people to watch. Uh, for the future, mm -hmm. uh, particularly in long jump and in athletics also. So we hope that the uh, Minister of Sports is very serious when he says that the preparation for Egypt 2027, you know, will begin almost immediately because I would like to see a situation whereby one day Nigeria tops the uh, medals table <sighs> and we can pa participate in more uh, events. But in terms of our outing, you know, we did better. At least we did better than Zimbabwe. Yes, we did. <laughs> and we did better than we did in Morocco the last time out. <laughs> and then uh, CONCACAF. Yeah. There was an incident that the U.S. won, beating Mexico 2-0. Yeah. But there were homophobic uh, rantings mm, on the side fans. of the Mexican fans. Mm. You know, the match had to be stopped twice yes. by the Canadian uh, referee. And this is a kind of bad behavior on the part of fans that we say, you know, uh, continues to lower uh, you know, the, uh, the, the game, take away from the beauty of the game. You were talking about uh, Formula One. Well, one senior advisor to um, Red Bull says that, look, it's not that Ferrari did so well. It was because Max Verstappen, who was originally in pole position, had to uh, pull out when, uh, you know, his rear brake, you know. Uh, but, Doctor, that's, that's all part of the race. And that's uh, if he had been the there, race. there's no way, you know, Ferrari could have uh, beaten. Uh, you know, Red Bull to, to, to the <laughs> top spot. Anyway, that's the controversy. And I know Sergio Perez say, no, 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 even if he was there, you know, anyway. Anyway, thank you very always much. Always a pleasure, always yeah. a pleasure. Aaron, thanks so much for that. Always. All right.